Hey, 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 boys and girls, how's it going? It's the Auto Samurai. Happy Halloween, and welcome to your boys and ghouls, boils and ghouls. Today is the final episode of the Otter Sass of Scares, and the start of a brand new LP. Tonight, we're going to be starting off with The Medium. It's another game by Bloober Team. So we've done Observer, we've done Layers of Fear, and now The Medium. This is going to be a full LP, to, because uh, I've heard some mixed reviews on it, and I kind of want to play it myself to see how it really comes out. And of course, this is from the people who, who are about to make Silent Hill 2. Large. Largest. Giant. And the default's fine. No, keep it so Speaker, yeah. Ooh, color. Bold. Vibrations, show HUD. Mm. Yeah, why not? I can always change it later. Shake. Hold breath mode. Text English on. All right, let's play the medium. Ooh, is that a moth from Silence of the Lambs? So I hope everybody's having a good Halloween today. I had to go to work, so, you know, usual stuff. But I was the only one in costume, so I didn't exactly, like, have anybody to compete. It all starts with a dead girl. Ooh. Ooh, I can feel the haptics. Ooh. Hmm. Uh-oh. Hey, welcome to the show. Time for the medium. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream to be on Broadway, be a big star. Summer, a girl is running through the woods, the moon, the scent of pines, and then bam, the gunshot. It always felt so real. Hmm? The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. Let me cool myself out with a nice warm of blood. I managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. I never blink. If they only knew. Does she ever blink? <laughs> that day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. Aww dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie, simple, just the things he did every day, but 
looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. Oh. I gotta smoke my 15 packs a day, otherwise I'll never be able to close this life in my life, ready. chapter in my life. I just had to find his special tie clip. Let's see. Uh, Merit, Mer, Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angel, Funeral 10. Is that where we're at right now? Surgery! All Saints Day, All Souls Day. Nope, nothing there. Kitty! Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Can I run through the house? Symbolic funeral, the Sierra's of mine. Good morning, Krakow. What's the capital of Poland? Krakow! Krakow! Looks Thanks, Calvin. Nourishing. Kuchi Kochi? Ku no, ko Kochi La Kochi. Here you go. <laughs> What's your face? Oh, Glad shit. to see you're still kicking around. I'm moving my controller to this. <laughs> Can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. You call your father Jack? I don't even call my father Dan. Illuminate photo for five seconds. Whee! Huh. Hmm. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Nice, okay. So let's see, illuminate the photo for five seconds. Two, three, three, four, five. Dip in multi grade. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Was the last photo I hey, I did. did it! Shit. You look like shit. You look like Jeff Bezos. I'm not sorry you're dead. Cool. I can make photos. Wee. All right, kitty, where are you at? I want to pet you. Kitty. Next room. It's like he never. Damn it. Damn it. Jack was a humble religious man. Wee. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. Rock out to the picture of Jesus. It could be useful. I want to pet the kitty. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He didn't mind that he was groping my shoulder. Special. He was whispering in my ear sweet nothings. You keep hissing at me. Who do you think's going to feed you now? You pussy. Jack was part of the solidarity movement. <laughs> He spent a few months in an internment camp, Wee! but even that couldn't dampen his fear. Sorry. Bomb, 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 bomb. Kitty, pet me. I want to pet you. So I guess, okay, so I guess Jack is the funeral director and not her dad. Oh, I'm just in here. Interesting. 
1984. Hey, that was also an observer. Got to remember that for a code. You can't forget the code this time. 1984. Right. The tie clip. Pull yours up together, Marianne. Marianne. Hello, puppet. Maybe in here? Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Okay, so maybe he's an adoptive dad. from the orphanage. Not all of them had my love. That's why I kept oh, yeah. back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. Okay. That was the least I could do. So she must have been from the orphanage Spirits. as well. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. <laughs> Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Damn. I'm gonna get you, girl. I used to get a lot of these. To me, Dude. they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Oh, dear Ms. Orkin, we must request you attend the next parent-teacher meeting, as we'd like to discuss to you this with you the situation that took place on last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student, but we're sure you realize that this behavior is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioral problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. <laughs> I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Jesus. Second degree thermal burns covering 45% of the total body surface area. Trunk and upper limbs area suspected inhalation injury. Core care management stabilization, early wound coverage, respiratory support initiated, fluid, fluid resuscitation initiated, pain control initiated, pain, patient placed in high flow oxygen until carbon monoxide poisoning is ruled out. So she survived a fire. Okay. Probably her parents didn't. And that's why Jack took her in. And that's when she developed her powers. Now, where's this damn clip? The last goodbye, a funeral home. Where's Jack's damn clip? Okay, maybe it is in the bathroom. Hmm. Wee. Hmm. Oh god, I can't crane my neck up. How's this damn clip? <sighs> Is the cat sitting on it? Kitty, give me the clip. Hmm. 
Hmm. I feel like an idiot. I don't know where the hell this damn clip is at. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Okay. I feel stupid for doing this, but Oh my god. It's over here. It's right fucking there. Oh my god. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Oh, okay. wait. Let's do this the other way. Ooh. All right, cool. Thank you. Jesus. Make me look stupid. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. So wait, if she never lived with Jack, does that mean she just would have ignored her powers? Like she could have just totally ignored everything and not even bothered? Does she get nosebleeds if she Jack <laughs> taught me to accept my condition? Of all my nope. foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. <laughs> I remember that gypsy family who took me in. They saw me with my psychic powers and they thought I was cursed. They shipped me right back to the orphanage. Inner investigator. Yeah. Okay, before I go in there. Yeah. Who doesn't? Need to get out. What the fuck? There was somebody there. Oh wait, it's probably a mourner. Never mind. Not a creepy ghost. Jack's in the prep room. Prepare Jack for his last journey. See Jack off. <laughs> Is that Idris though? Oh, okay, I need that. Record of funeral, name and deceased. Adam Nowick. Family contact. 
322-0299. Sex, yes, please. Date of birth, February 5th or May 2nd, depending on how you look at it. 1976. Birthplace, Krakow. Name, Mother Hannah. Name of father, Stanislaw. Occupation, university student. Married. Date of death, 1999. Ba damn, he was only a little over 20. That sucks. Embalming, dressing body, cosmetician, flowers, register book. Jack, Mrs. Novak, Novak brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we need to find someone else for the funeral. Marianne, we need to find a new body. Me, <laughs> a groom daughter. Uh, look at all these ash uh, urns you could choose. I don't know what I would do if I was going to be, like, dead. Would I do, like, cremation or just straight up body? Ooh, into the... Shed some insight on this. I suppose if I had to die, like, I would have wanted, well, everybody's got to die. I don't know why I said it, if I had to die. I wouldn't want to. Everybody has to. But, um, I'd probably get cremated. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. That way I wouldn't have to, like, be a, uh, come back as a zombie and bite my loved ones. special clip no where's your tie great oh snazzy you wouldn't have it any other way nope combine tie with dead body I didn't expect this to be easy I Guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, <laughs> it just burns you from the inside out. No. Oh. There. I guess you're ready. His eyes are open. Like, <gasps> I'm not dead. Do the Michael Myers sit, <laughs> do the sit up while you're in there, like, dunk, ah, oh, my hand. Oh god, wait. I thought I was play I'm playing the medium, not the mortuary's assistant. Hello, spooky monsters? Something that'll lead to my inevitable death. Hello, Nosferatu. I'm gonna close the window and start give me a sec. There we go. It's still light out. <clears throat> Easier to see. Nope, I know it I know that's horror. I'm out of here. Damn it. Where's the run button? I'm gonna run from this horror. 
Who's snort? Who's snorting the people and ashes? As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? Oh, Marianne, are, are you are you crying, my child? Yeah, because you're dead. I it's fine, Jack. Now, Good. You didn't have now stop crying. Notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Eh? I'm missing a piece on my brain. That might affect it. Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh no, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just. What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. Send his soul to the far plane. You are crying. What's wrong, dear? Oh, why is it so cold in here? Where is that shit? Hmm? It's okay, hey. Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. What would I ever do without you? Probably die. Jack. Which is kind of what happened. I'll visit you anytime I want to. It's gonna be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once uh, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. Not while I'm around. around. I promise. Uh, <laughs> Aww. No risky stuff then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. I need no. Yes, yes. <laughs> be, be good, Marianne. <laughs> I love you, my child. I need my notebook. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. Is this what death is like on the other side? It's like you're just wandering a plane not realizing you're dead. <laughs> ah, my eyes! Oh, Jesus. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. <laughs> but it didn't make things any easier. I took out my savings account. A thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. Aw. Mm, Daddy. That is a sweet jacket. I want that jacket. I used to think everyone saw the world the way. And I the did. sweater. Divided. Torn between two realities. But no. I was the only one. There's other media well, okay, no, they're all fakes. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. At... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. I know your breast size. If this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I'm hanging up. I know what you are. A bitch. <laughs> Who is this? My name. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. 
34, 23, 33. I need you to trust me. That's your bus size. I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. And a gunshot. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? 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 Oh, shit. Ooh. A blue team production. Ooh, I like this opening. It's cool. So everybody who worked on this is was Polish? That's cool. I like that. Stratova. Hey, children. My god, those pigeons are gonna eat her! The medium. The last goodbye. Can't and control off it. I went on nothing but a hunch, a call from a complete stranger. But I learned might not to even trust be alive. my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. He just screamed, "Help Either me! Way, Help me, you bitch!" He sure seemed to know me. Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Yeah, there's a big old quarantine sign that said, Don't enter! The front gate was locked up tight. I need to find another way in. Activate your insight! Oh, I can't do insight? Anyone home? I guess not. Niwa says hello. You, Niva says hello. You would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families and the hotel is huge. Never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you. F. I can't insight. What the? Hello? Thomas? 
The fuck? Weird. He's just grooving along. Oh, I see. I gotta go around. I can't just simply go through a window with broken glass and get shards in my hands. It's not acceptable. You want to keep me out, Neva? Not gonna happen. We're gonna have to do better than that. This would be cool to do. Not gonna lie. If there was an abandoned, like, mental asylum near me, I would still explore it. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government Oh, thank you. Now I can resort. run. Until one day it just... Stopped. Mm. Ah! Yo! And so, an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses, you know, the usual. Oh, it's a big dip. I was gonna say, just. This is probably not the right way. What's this old thing here? But I'm here for exploration. Oh, what a mess. Aw, oh, birds shit all over it. Sometimes. No wonder history keeps biting us in the ass. In memory of the victims of World War II, 1939 to 1945, for the daughters and sons of the land, here they rest, buried as they fell, to remind us that the whole earth is their grave. I wonder when this is set. You're telling me that you can't just trump through the woods? Come on. Trudge, whatever word it is. But, like, I would be in, like, investigator heaven if I could find a spooky-ass asylum or a hospital or something in the middle of the woods. But where I live, there's no such thing as woods. <laughs> Not unless you go further north. Ball's missing. Huh. Hello. I see footy prints. Oh God. What's this? TNK, 1968. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, this tickles. I feel funny. <laughs> I'm getting the tinglies, I gotta stop. Warning, due to recently unearthed remains, renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. Cool, I can get in here without anybody bugging me. Something happened here. Yeah. 
It's like having a vibrator on him. <laughs> ah. Oh, here we go. Time for a split. Come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Okay, cool. This is actually kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Dead. Like everything else in this place. I just need a knife or something to cut that spooky. Someone new, make your way deeper. It was a picture of me. You could tell because the creature had white hair just like me. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's hmm. paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Ooh. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world. Huh. Okay. Oh, because there's no power ups. I was wondering if it just like faded out after you grab it, but I guess not. It's just touch it once and you're done, I guess? I don't know. Inside that shit. In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Yeah, not getting through here. Not with the power out. Ah! When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. Oh, so that worked. Nice, very you. nice. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. <laughs> ah! That was actually kind of cool. So there I was. Existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. Caution, fire hazard. The only way to fight fire is with fire. Let's light them up. Oh, poor dear. Oh. What happened to you? I can't incite the deer. Deeper into the spooky woods. Wow. 
What the hell? Monkeys? Hmm. Okay, so I can't interact with anything. Time to get out of this freak show. Ooh. Ooh. Does this mean this game has tank controls? Which I don't mind, I'm pretty good with tank controls. Wanted to what go the to. Hell are you, Neva? The aura in that place. I have seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. I call the police. That's what I'll do. Oi. Hello? I'm here. No, it's definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Caught the scent. Yes. It's only a matter of time. Whee! I'm here. No, trust you. Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. That's kind of cool. I sense something. Oh, little feeties. Exploration is fun. What's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Dying. Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. My love, summer in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills. You know what that means? More work for yours truly. But it's good work. Honest work. Mr. Ruckowitz said he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. Not this time. Promise. Anything spooky in here? Nope. Okay, so the inside looks like it's just a limited space. And just everything in the circle. Neva Resort, summer of 1969 inauguration. The first secretary of the Polish United Workers Party, Conrad Wladyslaw Gomolka, honored Krakow and took part in the official inauguration of the Neva Resort, the new center of the socialist joy and recreation. Working class of Lesser Poland finally had a place to spend family time in the bosom of nature. 
The main building and the lodge area are comfortable, yet simple. As simple are the socialistic spirits of f spirit, uh, spirit and philosophy. Special thanks to the architect, future manager, and committed bar party member, Mr. Rickowitz, without whom the Nefa Resorts would be impossible to design, construct, and build. The 25th anniversary of establishing Polish People's Republic. Break a glass. Hello? Anybody in there? Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. Yeah, it's the glassy, smashy way. Shit. The handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. Huh? Sadness giggles. Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. If only I could reach it. So I need to get the handle to get to the dumpster to climb the dumpster to get to the broken window to get inside. Interesting. Can I use this phone? Can I use a stick? Rip off the dark, uh, dark, dark core handle. Oh no, it's leading me out. I don't want out. I went in. Oh, now you stop panting. Hello, little spooky girl. Where are you at? Broad Horizons. Buren program, new Soviet spacecraft soon to depart. Handheld mobile phones, the future of communication, global eradication of smallpox, greatest medical achievement of our lives. Earth 2. Electric Boogaloo. Oh, there's something there. Hope you don't mind if I, uh... <laughs> yeah! Not much here. Although... This... <laughs> Ow! Oh, shit. shit! What the hell? Okay, maybe jump. I didn't expect the car to... The dead car to honk.
Yeah, I'm a genius. So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. Okay, so 1999 is the setting. Got it. When I was just nine years old. Or eight, depending on which particular month this was. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it. <laughs> Climb it up. <laughs> Kick the shards. Or just do that. That works too. Well, it looks like I'm not getting back out. Not unless I smash a freaking window. Alright, we made it to the Neva Hotel. So I think that's going to do it for tonight's episode. Everybody, thank you so much for following along. If you missed any of the action, the episode will be in my YouTube channel later, under the Otter Samurai. Hit like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next episode. See ya!